Okay, so for those of you who are struggling with this line type concept in class, I put together this video. So this is a just three holes. I've got a hole that's 1.75 diameter, 1.25 in diameter, and one that's one inch in diameter. And I'm using a drawing scale of a half inch equals an inch. So then the first thing is once I know my scale, I can draw my center lines. So the extension on our center lines, for it to be an eighth inch when printed, we take an eighth inch times the scale factor. Our scale factor for this half inch equals an inch drawing is a scale factor of two. And you get that from this handout that I gave you. So half inch equals an inch, scale factor is a two. So eighth inch times two is a quarter of an inch. So I extended each one of these center lines a quarter of an inch. So then the other part of this is your line type scale. So you're gonna set your LTS, which is your line type scale variable for this drawing. You're gonna set it to be equal to a two. And you'll notice that I did that. And so if you do that and you get this right here, you don't have to do anything else. And you'll notice that the other thing that's important is if you've already been working on a drawing, then you need to go back and you need to check and make sure that the line type scale for any of these lines is set to a one. So if I check the properties for that, that's at a one. The properties for this next one, it's at a one. And now properties for that one is a one. So if all of the line type scale for those individual lines is set to a one in here, and you've got your LTS set like it's supposed to be, then if you can see the line type, you're done. Then for this middle one, I can't see the line type, so then this is what I would do. And so this is coming from one of the other handouts that I've given you. So that's from this one. For the minimum length of a center line to generate the center line type, you take the length of the line divided by, you take 1.124 times the scale factor, and then round down to the nearest five hundredths. So for this one, I've got a center line right here that's 1.75 inches long. So I take 1.75 divided by the quantity of 1.124 times 2. So following your order of operations, you'd have to first take 1.124 times 2 and get 2.248, and then take 1.75 divided by 2.248. When you do that, you get approximately 0.7785. You'd round down to 0.75. So then what you do with that number is you would highlight these two lines, since they're both the same length, change your line type scale for that to be 0.75, and now they look like center lines. Now then this one, it's a little bit smaller hole. So now my length of my center lines is only 1.5. So I'd have to do that again, since these center lines are a different length. So I take 1.5 divided by the quantity of 1.124 times 2. So again, I take 1.124 times 2, and that's 2.248. Take 1.5 divided by 2.248, and I get approximately 0.6673. And I'd round down to the nearest 500, so I'd round down to 0 0.65. So then what I would do for that is select these two lines, since they're both the same length, and change their line type scale in here to be 0 0.65, and hit Enter. And now they all look like center lines. So I'd have to do that same calculation for every center line that's a different length. But if your line type scale is a one and they look like center lines, you don't have to do anything else. So hopefully this little video helps you guys that are struggling with line type scale and it gives you something that you can refer back to often. So good luck and let me know if you have any questions.